now we can officially get the day started. Normally I wasn't a coffee drinker, but now I find that the caffeine just helps to clear my mind and you have like precision uh, thinking. So uh, what are we doing today? We're just gonna go out there, have some fun. I'm gonna go after a speckled trout. There was a big one that I caught last year. And this time of year, the water is super clear. So there is a flat out there that sometimes it holds grass, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know how it's gonna actually play out today, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna have some grass on it. I don't know, we'll find out whenever we get out there. And uh, yeah, let's just have a blast. Oh, I tell y'all, I love the great state of Texas. She takes care of her own. Uh, what you just saw there is me getting a Texas Parklands passport. So since I'm a disabled veteran, I no longer have to pay for myself to get into all of the Texas state parks. So that's gonna save a, yeah, a little bit of money on the uh, wallet. We're here, right behind me is the launch. We're gonna hurry up and unload, get out there. It's kind of a small chore getting out here, but we are finally on the water. And there goes the man right there, Beto. How are you doing, brother? What's up, man? <laughs> Let everybody know we're the luckiest guys on earth. Right? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful day. But as soon as we leave the bayou, it's gonna be nasty. <laughs> 17 mile an hour winds everyone but if you want to fish you got to come out here and just deal with it let's get over there with bethel see how he's been doing and uh we'll hopefully try to get on the fish but regardless we're out here fishing and uh you know what i'd rather be fishing than doing anything else y'all ready to go go tear oh my gosh already tearing it up inside oak bayou Oh dang, good job. Let's go. Oh, you got a Lawrence. That's a great unit. Which one is it? The Hook 7. Hook 7? Yeah, that's a good from, starter from unit. Partners over there at uh, Austin Kayak. Go, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, Mark's always in here. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool deal. All right. All right, Mark, we'll follow you. Yeah, let's get out there. Here. To me, it's hard to catch quality fish here. That's why I travel far away. Yeah, so now it's like I, uh, I guess I've tried to validate to my audience, hey, I know how to catch fish, um, so, so now I don't, I don't have nothing to prove no more now, so I'm just going to stay here, and if I can catch fish here, well then maybe the, the Houston area, Galveston area, people will start watching my videos and I'll start growing again, but it's been tough on me. And You're still at like 25 or 28, right? Yeah, 26 right now. So it's been tough, but I, I'm hoping to be able to grow, man. So I'm sticking closer to home. This is my effort. Should I tell everybody about your channel? Thank you, bro. That, that really helps me out, man. Some people just don't like have YouTube accounts and that's why they don't subscribe but they watch I think these right here are gonna be key to uh, catching a fish it's a 1 8 ounce little swim hook and the reason why I say it's gonna be the key because 1 8 ounce will sink down into the water a little bit slower than the quarter and since we're fishing flats uh, that's the type of presentation that I want to give to the fish let's get a leader tied on and we'll uh, get started. Let's do this. We're gonna do the switcheroo, pull out the popping cork on a windy day. You can't beat it. It's gonna help to attract them with a the loud noise, being that there's a lot of surface noise right now because of the water chop this will come in clutch and the fact that we got a super bright will just make sure that they see it and that bright color also has some fish oil scent so let's get up try to work this little drain right here <clears throat> I 
the bayou did not produce anything i'm going to switch back up to my fluke style jerk bait and i'm going to go hit a deep little cut that feeds one of the lakes that's around here and we're going to see if we can pull something up over there no you got to be kidding me i was not recording how did i do that i don't understand how i wasn't recording but oh my gosh i'm such a rookie uh look, look what i got right there beautiful 19 inch trout and uh, we're taking that home to do a cook because there's no guarantee that we're going to catch any other fish it is cold out here the water has dipped back down into the 50s the low 50s at that but right here at the mouth of the bayou i was going to go hit up another deep area but the trout was here working and i got lucky here's what we're going to do try to post up over here so that we can cast downwind with it and that should help us out with staying put and holding our spot oh we got him look at that another little motor boat and trout this guy's probably 16 just by the looks of it 16 incher nice for the frying pan he hears it and is like oh gosh frying pan what you mean by the frying pan i'll show you what i mean by the frying pan beautiful trout he's definitely a keeper let's get the hog trough oh my gosh maybe not hold on playa close that mouth of yours we need to measure you so please close your mouth Look at that, right on the button, 15 inches, but without a closed mouth, we can't really tell. So when we close his mouth, he's gonna shrink. So long, little friend, you are super lucky. Winter fishing is, it is tough. You gotta go slow. I know enough about that from fresh water and three seasons in the salt. Well, I'm just, I'm learning. It's slow and it's painful, but, you can get rewarded every now and again yes come here baby come say hello to your friend over here this guy he's got some fight he's really got some shoulders on him okay i'm not gonna put him in the net because i don't know if he's gonna be a keeper or not but he's got some shoulders for being like a 14 15 incher look at that nice hook set on the top of the mouth He's like, nice? What are you talking about, nice? Let's get this wet. He's probably 14 inches. I don't think he's going to be any bigger than that. Okay, chill out, homie. Okay, I'm going to let you go, but I need you to chill out. Don't get all irate. Oh, gosh, no, he's another 15-incher. Look at that. Close that mouth, buddy. I just want to show everybody, if you measure a fish with its mouth open, he's he was right at 15, but if we can... Whoa! All right trying to show everybody something bro like chill out homie okay just close your mouth please there he goes relax close the mouth close the mouth no 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 there we go he's closed his mouth now look at this 14 and three quarters so do not measure your fish with their mouth open just like you don't talk with your mouth open, don't measure a fish with the mouth open. That's the last cast right there, and then we're going to pick up and move. There we go. Oh, we got him. Man, just when you say last cast, and then something like this bites, makes you want to stay just a little bit longer. And this guy hasn't come up either. He's got a little bit of weight. Hasn't taken no drag, but hopefully he's going to be a keeper. Oh, it's a flounder. We were working the bottom close enough to get a flounder. That's why we had a lot of weight on the line. I don't think he's going to be a keeper, though. Hello, Mr. Flatty. Gosh, this dude was hungry, huh? Choked it. My gosh, how am I going to get this out? There we go. Give me that. See how big you are. 
man, this is turning out to be a great day and all the while staying close to home. 13 inch flatty. Get out of here, you little potato skin. Beautiful fishy. And here we go. I love doing this. We're gonna see if this guy works up the nerve to get out. And there he goes. Get that water underneath you. And he's like, uh, does he see me still? <laughs> Taking off nice and slow. All right, well, because we caught that guy, I'm going to hold off just for a second and we'll see if we can pull another fish up. Oh, there's a thump and we got him. This guy's got some weight. I think that's a flounder again. He feels heavier than the first one. Oh no, that's a speck. That's a really nice size speck from the bottom. Wow, barely hooked and everything. Man, these guys are fat, but they're all cookie cutter. 14 inchers. Look how we hooked them from the outside in. Dude, they're gonna clown you whenever I let you go. Like, how the heck do you not bite the lure, but you still get hooked? 14 inches with an open mouth, so we deduct a quarter inch and what we're working with is probably 14 and a quarter inch fish. Come on, shut that mouth. There we go. No, 14 inch fish on the money. Get out of here. What a great day to be out there on the water despite the horrible conditions. 17 mile an hour winds, cold water temps, cold fronts coming in and out. I have been on one crazy lucky street and to be able to catch a nice size speckle trout to cook up later on, I'm freaking starving right now. Uh, it's been nothing short of amazing. I've got to be the luckiest person in the world, honestly, because winter fishing is tough. I don't care who you are. When you go out there, it's like a crapshoot. You don't know if you're gonna catch them or not, but I did, so I am super excited. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, tight lines, y'all.